Nitric oxide have always been one of my favorite diatomic molecule that is composed of one nitrogen and one oxygen atom. It's a small gaseous signaling molecule that is produced endogenously in the body. Now, I've watched numerous hours of many doctors, influencers, naturopathic doctors speak highly of nitric oxide and would like to share my story with you about nitric oxide and the usage for the past nine years, taking 500 to 1,000 milligrams of nitrate daily compared to other products out there. What gets me, lots of individuals talk highly about it, but no one is currently using the proper form. And I will only share information based on the scientific references and my personal experience. So every time you hear the word nitric oxide, you will hear alarginine, alcitrulline, beetroot, leafy greens, garlic, and many others. And we have different types of nitric oxide that many of you are not aware of, and many do not even talk about it. ENOS for endothelial nitric oxide synthase, NNOS for neuronal nitric oxide synthase, INOS for inducible nitric oxide synthase, and TNOS for mitochondrial nitric oxide synthase. So let's break it down. Nitric oxide synthase are a family of enzymes that play a crucial roles in various physiological processes. ENOS regulates vascular tone and blood flow, promoting vasodilation, improving circulation, supporting cardiovascular health and function, and enhancing oxygen and nutrient delivery to tissue, and is crucial for maintaining glycocalyx integrity. NNOS is involved in neurotransmission and synaptic plasticity, supporting neuronal function and cognitive processes, and playing a role in memory, learning, and mood regulation. INOS produces high sustained levels of nitric oxide for immune defense, helping eliminate pathogens and tumor cells, and is involved in inflammation and tissue repair processes. However, uncontrolled INOS activation can lead to excessive nitric oxide production, causing chronic inflammation, autoimmune disorders, cancers, and other inflammatory conditions. MTNOS regulates mitochondrial function and energy production, maintaining mitochondrial homostasis, and plays a role in cellular respiration and bioenergetics. Various nutrients and natural compounds can actually support the production and function of different nitric oxide synthase. For ENOS, you have vitamin C, E, B3, copper, zinc, alarginine, alcitrulline, leafy greens, beets, citrus fruits, fish, nuts and seeds, ginkgo biloba, green tea, and cacao can all help with this production. For INOS, production can be supported by vitamin C, E, alarginine, garlic, onions, ginger, green tea, curcumin, and omega-3 fatty acids. For NNOS production can be assisted by vitamin B3, B6, B12, alarginine, alcitrulline, poultry, fish, nuts, ginkgo biloba, ginseng, and ashgawanda. And lastly, MTNOS production can be supported by magnesium, iron, coenzyme Q10, vitamin C, E, B3, leafy greens, berries, fatty fish, avocados, alpha-lipoic acid, resveratrol, and PQQ. So for the past nine years, I have been using specific supplements to support different types of nitric oxide synthase. For endothelial nitric oxide, use a combination of beetroot extract 25% and potassium nitrate as directed and patented by Berkeley Life of 500 to 1000 milligrams daily. I choose these supplements because they actually bypass the alarginine pathway without causing any oxidative or free radical damage. And to support inducible nitric oxide synthase, I use vitamin C, 3000 milligrams liposomal, garlic on and off of three cloves, and elagic and EGCG, 1000 milligrams. Also, I try to limit the amount of EGCG to prevent oxidative damage. For neuronal nitric oxide synthase, I rely on niacin supplementation up to 1500 milligrams daily. And lastly, to support mitochondrial nitric oxide synthase, I use alpha-lipoic acid, the R-form, magnesium ionic chloride, 1200 milligrams of elemental, 
and the ribose of 5 grams. And if you find yourself limited by your current perspective and believe that using alarginine or citrulline can help you save money, it's important to note that the recommended daily dosage for both men and women is between 4 to 6 grams multiple times a day. However, to prevent three potential issues associated with these amino acids, it is crucial to include additional supplements in your regimen. These issues include the uncoupling of nitric oxide, the oxidation of alarginine, and the formation of peroxynitrate. Now, to mitigate these concerns, I strongly advise incorporating vitamin C, vitamin E tocotrinols, flavonoids, alpha-lipoic acid, and coenzyme Q10 into your supplementation stack. I believe that endothelial nitric oxide synthase can help prevent heart attacks. This is based on a scientific evidence, including research that was recognized with a Nobel Prize. Nitric oxide helps blood vessels relax and open up, which improves blood flow and lowers the risk of heart attacks. It also prevents blood clots, reduces inflammation, and protects the blood vessels from damage. I think that having healthy ENOS function is important for keeping the heart and blood vessels working well. In my opinion, things like good diet, exercise, certain supplements can help support ENOS and lower the chances of any type of cardiovascular problems.